it's the last monday of august finally this month is done <laughs> hey what's up hi my name is z and you're back to the reactionist channel time for some giggles and cuteness today we're watching episode 34 to 36 and first up and first one up is space which i'm curious because this might be a part two of bingo's previous episode in space am i right or not we'll see Back to Calypso's house once again. You know the most about it's the boys. How about you're the chief scientist? Ooh, chief scientist is very important. And he fixes stuff. Very smart. <laughs> they're back to that boat. Let's go to Mars. Oh, so th that's why it's space. They're traveling. Are they the main characters of this episode? Oh my gosh, I like it. What happens if you go in it? You'll die. <laughs> Who knows? It might be an illusion. It's on Mars. What's happening? Oh, it's Jack again talking. I really love Jack's voice. Ooh, hold on tight, you guys. We're gonna fall. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh no. <laughs> there is some corrections, but that's fine. We're still in danger. <laughs> oh, why can't Jack be the chief scientist? But I'm confident with Mackenzie. I'm sure he'll learn and be confident about this pretty soon. Oh no. He fell further. That's impossible. That's death. But we're not gonna mention that. <laughs> we're gonna stay positive here. Satellite. Ooh. We're gonna fix the ship. Oh, I thought they're gonna talk. Nothing's happening yet. Why did you see that asteroid? There's a lot of fixing that needs to happen. Mackenzie? Finish. Oh, he's very aloof. He's ignoring the questions. We've lost Mackenzie. Oh, again. Leave me behind. We didn't. <laughs> What's happening? You unhooked it. Ooh. Let's unravel the truth. But you leave me behind. I'm all alone. It's probably because Mackenzie doesn't like to be the chief scientist. Prepare crew for hypersleep. <laughs> Everyone's sleeping now. Okay, I'm very curious about this episode. Especially about Mackenzie. Like, what's happening? I want to change course. What is the new? <laughs> I love Jack. Why are we going to the black hole? That's dangerous. Oh, uh, not again. Ooh, that is a cool place. It's my job to figure everything out. Is he getting scared of the black hole? You go to Mars without me. Aw, why are you sacrificing yourself? Okay. Is this a good boy? Just gonna let him go? It's too late for him, you guys. He's already inside. <gasps> There's something. I heard something. Oh my gosh. This transportation, I like. Mom? What Mom? is happening? We said it's a memory of Mackenzie from when he was young. Are you sure you still want We gotta save him, Jack and Rusty. Ooh, it's Calypso. Oh, Mackenzie's so cute. Okay. Now run, Mackenzie. <gasps> Butterflies. Oh, that place is so pretty and colorful. <laughs> I wanna be in there. Oh, made it back. oh those were aliens. <laughs> It's a bubber you didn't get to see it, but I'm sure you can. Come on, They're just gonna come back to the ship. Okay. Captain, here. What is with that place? Why is he so curious here. about it? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I did not get it. For the first time in forever, I'm very confused on what the takeaway of this one should be. Mackenzie, in the beginning of this episode, was very quiet already. He was trying to unhook himself from this spaceship and hiding behind things. And then there was this scene where he was mad at Rusty and Jack asking them why did they leave him but they never loved him it was him who let go if i connect that to the memories that he had when he was younger he went into this slide and he thought his mother left him is it because of that that he's having a hard time letting go or he's afraid that people will leave him is that it and by going inside to this black hole and seeing what's the other side it was him finally being brave enough to accept that people are not 
not gonna let him go and will be there for him. Is that it? Is it cheating if I read some synopsis about it now? Because I feel like if I read something about it, that makes me feel like I did not learn anything at all. So probably I'm not gonna read it. Also, there are people who will always be beside us and it's not gonna be helpful if we stress about things too much, thinking that no one is gonna be there to help us. But in reality, there are people around us who are very much concerned and will be there to support us because that's what Jack and Rusty did even though they are very confused I'm pretty sure about what's happening with Mackenzie they still try their best to understand him and be there every time and they did not left him even though Mackenzie already told them to leave even to the most triggering or stressful experience there is in life I think I'm gonna end it with that I'm still not sure if that was the correct one but we'll see in the comment section what you guys got from that episode that is beating the puppet episode from having a very deep takeaway and that was the first episode it was kind of confusing for me i think it's a me problem but i think i got there <laughs> hopefully so now we're moving on to the second episode this is smoochy kids the first episode was kind of deep so let's see if this is the same we have a music early in the morning. <laughs> oh, really? Why? <laughs> Speaking of dad. Oh, <laughs> very territorial. <laughs> so that was a game. The objective is to have a smoochy kiss. So I see this is going to be fun. <laughs> That's kind of scary weapon. The quest into getting a smoochy kiss is hard, but it will all be worth it. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Good luck with that. You're gonna need that good luck. Let's see how this is gonna turn out. Uh, is that ketchup? Oh, is okay, are we not gonna talk about the ketchup? <laughs> mm. She's there. You gotta be kin. Oh, looks like gravy. Oh, it's a gravy. <laughs> you can't waste any drop of gravy. <laughs> <laughs> you were so close. I just want a smoochy kid. <laughs> you gotta earn it, mom. Quickly. Yes, boss. Oh my. That room is very big. She's gonna be in this area pretty soon. So we gotta be active. Ow. Okay. What is happening? <laughs> Pain on my foot. Oh. <laughs> Same reaction, Bluey. Trying to pull a, nose hair out. a lot of things that is being presented to us today. Something not desirable. But still, that's part of that. <laughs> it's too late for that, I'm afraid. Huh? Is he still worth defending? Protecting? Oh, well. Bluey. That box is moving. And I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> actually, you guys hardly wear anything. Like right now. Oh no, one of the protector is being taken away. No more disgusting things. Proceeds to do something disgusting. <laughs> I told ya. Fluffy. Yeah, I was thinking of that word, fluffied. <laughs> For different reasons now. It's traveling. It's mom that they're protecting now. Smoochy, smoochy. Oh, what is that? What is a basil? Um, no. Is that basil? Is that, is that same thing? <laughs> we are checking things. Very hairy. Mine is very hairy as well. I hate it. That's a new one. It's a regular thing. You're just only knowing about it now. You ever smelled a breath in oh. <laughs> That's a new one for you too? Sorry. Oh no, that is the worst combination out there. Just a disgusting... I will keep to myself. <laughs> Long list of disgusting things. Keep each other. <laughs> it's an advantage for them. Smoochy kiss achieved. And that is smooch kiss for you guys. We ticked a lot of disgusting things that Dad Bandit do. And some new ones. And we discovered some stinky things. That mom does as well. <laughs> this is quite surprising for Bluey and Bingo. They were protecting dad first. 
because they thought mom doesn't like her for doing some irritating things <laughs> in the kitchen but when they discovered that dad is not all that <laughs> they decided to protect mom instead and then the revelations everyone can agree about this i believe unless you're a narcissistic one who thinks you're perfect <laughs> but honestly everyone has flaws some bad some nasty some disgusting and we just gotta have to accept it it. wait but not the bad ones if they have behavior that are nasty and can be changed or managed that's not something that you should accept but if it's those normal things like what they've mentioned farting having nose hairs bad breath in the morning because those are natural that doesn't mean that someone doesn't deserve a smoochy kiss <laughs> that's just part of who they are and i think eventually you're just gonna start to love that about them that can be with your friends with your partner with your own children or with your parents anyone honestly loved the soundtrack and <laughs> bingo just being oblivious of the box moving is hilarious sadly we are now on to our last episode of the day this one is dirt which i think is very familiar to all children out there playing outside you're gonna encounter them every day and that's gonna be a headache for every parent out there who cleans the children's clothes <laughs> we are in Wendy's house. Ooh, that's their breed. Chow chows. As beautiful as yours? Even more. Lovely. All that just for her to play in the dirt. Yeah, that's good, mate. Ooh, what's that dirt for? Is that part of the pond they're still making? Just don't get dirty. Oh. You see, that's a thing, mom. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Wow, this too. And I already understand Wendy. Because Judo has white fur. Dirt. And you stick that with the dirt, and it's gonna be much more obvious. This dirt's very dirty. Exactly. Healers don't have lovely hair. I don't think so. You guys have lovely hair. Orange and blue. But without getting dirty? Uh... Well, you can wrap yourself in a bubble wrap, plastic wrap, something. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's only gonna work if you're lucky enough. But something is bound to happen. <laughs> and you're gonna get dirty. Oh, yeah. What is that? Da -da -da -da. That involves you being dirty, so. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I can do Their whole face is brown now. But playing in the dirt is fun as well. I mean, if you only do it seldom, why not? If that's gonna make you so happy and gonna be a fun memory to have, I don't see why not. <laughs> and moms are just gonna be mad about it in the beginning, <laughs> but they're eventually just like, fine, just play in the dirt. <laughs> You're already dirty anyway. Wow, this one is risk here because the dirt turned to mud. Mm. Wendy, you gotta let her play. Want you to have fun. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Wendy, for being such a good parent. Yeah. You can't be thinking about this always, because that's just gonna stress you out. Well, things just got awkward. <laughs> but it's also a good thing that dad said don't pester. Cause yeah, I agree. So long to clean. I said that, didn't I? See Wendy play in that dirt as well. <laughs> oh, OMG! I did not expect that, but way to go, Wendy. Wendy's gone nuts. <laughs> this is a perfect sample of being a good role model. We don't have to be perfect all the time. <gasps> is that her new hairstyle? It actually looks cute, like pixie cut. I'm sure. Let's do it. Aww, I love the relationship, OMG. <laughs> Bald Judo. Bald Judo and Happy Judo. <laughs> yeah, having fun is much more important. Aww. See all the things that she can do now? In fairness with Judo, her behavior her or her personality is totally different from season one. 
the best for a child yeah <laughs> that too <laughs> and unfortunately that is the third episode dirt time for a change change is scary always but just like what i said before we gotta face changes afraid let's do it afraid scared and worried especially if we're sure that this is gonna make us be our better selves so why not so i say go ahead and do it and again do not let society dictate what you should and should not do i'm not saying that you can not go to the path of being a child child that has flawless fur there is always other options and people should not be pressured or pestered into doing a specific thing life is not rigid you can do whatever you want as long as you're not hurting anyone and not being a bad person go ahead and do it have Fun. I love that this episode showed us that there really is a change with how we knew Judo the first time. The ending of the previous personality that I used to know about her. And she's just a lovely kid with a lovely mom. And again, perks to the writers for giving Wendy much more personality and not just a side character we see from time to time to have a laugh. We really got to know the other neighbor aside from Pat for having lessons from neighbors not just from the healer family alone their neighborhood is so healthy and wholesome i'm sure they're having fun a lot of times every time there's an event out there i wish that for me someday too like i get to meet neighbors that are that kind and not the bad ones <laughs> so if you're looking for a sign for change now is that time wendy is literally showing you the sign and if you know that it will have a good result go ahead and do it i support you with that one and there we go we just had three episodes of bluey we are now going to rank them let's go with space first space i thought this was going to be a continuation of bingos but no this is more about the male friends of bluey jack mackenzie and rusty but more specifically about mackenzie he was talking something about being left alone here and i think this was his time facing this scenario or memory that he previously had and finding peace about this kind of memory and that there are friends loved ones out there that will never leave you behind and actually will help you every step of the way i think that's what i got from that i always love the peaceful soundtrack ones because i feel like i'm floating and just having more time to reflect in life visuals is beautiful as well a lot of sceneries that was shown here but the best part i think was the alien side of the black hole <laughs> with colorful butterflies on the other end i think i'm gonna play space in the the best one next is smoochy kiss this one is gonna be in the fun to watch accepting the bads aside from the good ones that's what mom said i totally agree with that soundtrack and visual is fine for this episode as well and now with our last episode dirt this i think is the second best takeaway time for change choosing fun over the society's expectation of you i think is a very good message as well of course the best visual here is the change of wendy and judo and with that i think i'm placing dirt in the fun to watch as well and there you go guys that is the final ranking of the three episodes that we watched today did you love the reaction if you did please go ahead and like and subscribe and the lesson of the week i think is if you're having troubles with past memories please know that you can face these things not alone and it will always be your own pace okay no one is pressuring you to like face these things especially if it's very traumatic but if you're not in that kind of situation again just like what wendy said maybe it's time for change maybe this is a sign that you're looking for that is it for now you guys thank you once again for watching with me and i'll see you once again on monday for new blue episodes it's gonna be september bye